Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we are going to be going through the skills of the three new elite dragon heroes, which is Nyla, Pulina, and Cassius. So we're going to try and punch through them all in this video. We do have the other video already out that goes through uh, the other two, which is going to be our Gwyneth and our Hildwin. So that's already out there if you want to go check out those guys' skills and we get some nice loading screens. But we're going to try and cover these ones. You, this is probably going to go live while I'm as I go to sleep. So if I'm not in the comments, that is going to be why. But let's go through this one and then I'll get up in the morning and I'll record all the new stuff in the game as well. But I want to look through it a bit deeper before I jump in there. So let's jump into to this one, which is Nyla. So Nyla is an intellect-based support focusing on control. So a controlling support. So let's jump into it. I haven't read these, so we're just going in blind. We'll see how we go. Hopefully, I don't butcher the reading like I always do. So Nyla launches a giant bub bubble uh, captivating captivating is that really the right word wouldn't it be wouldn't it be encapsulating anyway captivating the nearest enemy and causing them to float for six seconds prioritizing enemy heroes wait but it already says an enemy so obviously it's going to prioritize enemy heroes it's not going to... I've <laughs> I'm sensing translation errors already. We'll wait and see. During this time, they will lose 400 energy. If their energy exceeds 900, breaking free from the bubble's control instantly. Dude, I feel like this is not even... Like, is this even... If, if this is not a, a... Dude, I... It could be my bad reading, but I swear this is just worded horribly. Nyla recovers 500 energy if her, con if, if her control fails. During this time, they will lose 400 energy. If their energy exceeds 900... Wait, during this... Do, uh, there's a bubble and it's got energy involved. Uh, that's where I'm leaving that because that is worded so horribly, I think. Unless it's just me. You guys let me know. <laughs> I'm pretty stupid. Hey. All right. After breaking free from the bubble's control, the target cannot recover energy for five seconds. If they break free uh, prematurely, this duration extends to seven seconds. Okay, so good energy manipulation. And control. Uh, upon breaking free from the bubble's control, the target will plummet to the ground, taking damage worth 12% of their max HP, up to 640% of her attack rating. So we've got some little bit of damage in there as well. All right, Nyla conjures a bubble-filled playground on the battlefield for 20 seconds, reducing the tenacity of enemies within the area by 20 points. Multiple bubble f fun lands. That's what they're called. Multiple bubble fun lands. It's called a playground, and now it's called a fun land. I swear there is something wrong with these character skill descriptions. Can exist at the at the same time, so you can have multiple. Uh, it reduces more tenacity. When the enemy escapes a giant bubble, it creates a bubble fun land nearby. And I'm assuming a bubble fun land is the same as a bubble playground. It's like when they put Gwendolyn in Gwyneth's description. I don't know what's going on over there. Anyway, they, obviously they have too much going on in this patch and they, they, the QA kind of fell off. All right. Bubble Maze. When an allied hero takes damage exceeding 8% of their max health, Nyla swings her staff, causing them to vanish and reappear in the furthest bubble fun land. Simultaneously, the bubble fun land erupts, dealing damage for 360% of Nyla's attack rating to nearby enemies and knocking them back slightly. This is interesting because it's going to displace your allies, and if the fun lands are on enemies, that means it's going to push your allies to an enemy to avoid some damage, which puts them in range of more damage but I guess if there's another fun land, it can keep teleporting them because it doesn't have a limit by the sounds of it. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Damage taken by allies within the bubble fun land is reduced by 15%. If, uh, if it's Nyla, then damage is reduced by 30%. The problem for me with this is it teleports them to the fun land and explodes it. So doesn't that mean it's gone? It erupts. So I thought erupt means I feel like it's destroyed. I dude, I don't know. I'm so I'm so beyond this character. Maybe I'm too tired. Maybe I'm stupid. You guys let me know. Damage taken by allies. Okay, you get more mitigation. Upon reappearing in the bubble fun land, the allied hero immediately gains a bubble shield that decays over eight seconds, absorbing damage equal to 100 percent of their max HP. So you get 100 percent max HP shield. That's not too bad, even if you get it going behind enemy lines. Uh, but it does deplete over eight seconds. Okay, cool. Next one. When an enemy hero suffers reduced movement speed, haste, 
or control effects, Nyla's inner power unleashes one bolt uncontrollably. Okay, I think the S is a typo. These bolts deal dragon speak damage for 220% of her allies' attack, and it's the allies' attack rating. Okay, which cool, a cap, uh, okay, okay, but it's capped at Nyla's attack rating. So you still need stats on Nyla to make this like fully effective. I, I was going to say, that sounds pretty cracked if, it's, if you've got like a beefed up unit that's then dealing that damage and Nyla's only a single copy, but you're still getting the max damage out of it, but it is capped at her attack. This effect can trigger up to four times every one second. That's not too bad. Uh, then we get damage increases. For each four bolts fired, Nyla triggers Dragon's Fury, dealing Dragon Speak damage for 360% of her attack rating to the nearest enemy. This knocks them back into the battlefield's edge, causing them to lose 300 energy and stunning them for four seconds i mean that's pretty cool but we'll have to see if the character is good enough to warrant that 60 engraving in investment all right signature item let's take a look at the start of battle a bubble seed is planted in the ally with the lowest health when the carrier takes damage exceeding eight percent of their max health the seed immediately transforms into a bubble shield that lasts for eight seconds absorbing damage equal to 100 percent of their max health cool beans Every 10 seconds, Nyla will plant another bubble seed. It seems like we've got some pretty decent mitigation with this character and cheap deaths for allies. I think it's pretty solid. At the beginning of the battle, a bubbles seed a bubble seed is planted on the enemy hero with the highest attack rating. When the carrier deals damage exceeding 8% of their target's max health, the bubble seed immediately transforms into a giant bubble and controls them. That's pretty cool. Every 10 seconds, Nyla will plant another bubble seed uh, in the enemy hero with the highest attack rating. Uh, and then at 40, Nyla grants 50% increased healing and takes... 50% less damage from allies and enemies carrying bubble seeds. Honestly, the 40 doesn't sound necessary. I think I feel like it's pretty solid. I feel like it's pretty solid. Furniture. If enemies linger in the bubble funland for more than three seconds, the bubble funland transforms into a giant bubble, controlling and suspending them in the air for six seconds. Each enemy can trigger this effect. Ah, okay, up to one every 15 seconds. Okay, okay, that's fair. Uh, for each instance of damage dealt by heroes carrying bubble seeds, the attack power of Nyla's bolts permanently increases by 2% cap to 200% max. Dude, I, like, she, she sounds... So, so what I'm getting from this kid is... We've got cheat deaths for allies. We've got pretty good damage mitigation with shields. And we've got pretty decent damage along with control. It's like, I don't know if it's all going to be good enough and whether it's going to synergize too well, but let's go ahead and check. Let's have, let's have a look at the way she works. So let's go to this one. Begin battle. All right, let's leave it on two times speed. So there's, so the fun land must be this little, like it doesn't look like a playground or a fun land. It just looks like a pool of, of acid on the floor i'm not saying like playgrounds or fun lands it, it, that must be a bad translation that like that th those bubbles don't look like a playground or fun land like do they am i being an idiot here dude i unless dude i don't know if i'm misreading stuff uh but let, let's, let's just do something like this uh and let's put uh, walker in there all right let's see if walker teleports Okay, so she has she got the bubble zone on the ground anywhere? It must be in that bulk lot of enemy. Okay, she's already dead. Rip. Uh, let's try again. Let's try again. Uh, so let's do like let, let, let's do like Walker and Kazard. Let's see if Kazard needs to get teleported. Okay, the guy up the top. We okay, there we go. So you see that? You see that? Kazard got teleported to that bubble up the top and got a bubble shield. And now we got. We got Golvo in a bubble getting lifted. We got her in a bubble getting lifted. There's a lot of bubbles getting lifted here. Okay, he's back in a bubble getting lifted. I Look at Thorin. He's going to stand there for three seconds and get put in a bubble. Oh, he's immune though. He's immune. Okay, my bad. Let's see. See, see he goes up into the bubble. I, I feel like the bubbles could have some use. I feel like the bubbles could have some use. Anyway, let's go on to the next character. That is Nyla. Control, mitigation, cheat deaths for team with some damage. That's what I see there. All right. Prelina, I really hope she's good because I love these assassin type characters. So she is an agility based uh, ranger class with focusing on continuous damage. So let's take a look. Dude, why are they big? big? Okay, small one. Yes. Average one. Yes. Uh, I had to scroll for it. All right, let's look at the abilities. Uh, we got an active and a passive, I guess, if it's got active. All right, get ready, guys. Here we go. Active. 
She enters the state of Dragon's Fury, boost, boosting her attack rating by 35% and haste by 20 points for 7 seconds. The state cannot be dispelled. Okay, so we, so, so we get like a berserk mode. Polina instantly teleports to the enemy hero with the most energy, dealing a multi-hit uh, damage for 300% of her attack rating with each hit. How many hits was it? Dealing a multi-hit damage for 300% each hit. So we need to know how many hits. If it's 15 hits, that's a lot of damage. Knocking them into the air and temporarily stunning them. While the skill is in effect, she becomes invincible and untargetable. Passive. When she successfully knocks an enemy hero into the air, they enter the floating state. Cool. Uh, and they cannot be launched again while floating. That makes sense. After the ultimate is cast, it cannot be cast again for three seconds. This does not include ultimate triggered by the rapid counter skill, which we'll have to wait and see. Okay, cool. Enemies hit will lose their energy and won't recover any for the next... Okay, we've got serious energy denial here. At the start of battle, uh, she unleashes the ultimate skill without consuming energy. So, enters the state of Dragon's Fury, boosting attack and haste. The state cannot be dispelled, instantly teleports to the enemy. So, she, she instantly does this, gets this buff. I love it. I love it. So, we've got another unit that's going to use it at the start of battle. I love these effects. All right, sick. I, this, is my, this is my favorite character so far from these elite ones. I don't think the other is going to beat it just because I love this style of play. Uh, and she may be shit, but I, I just like this style of play. Polina permanently... I can't even read her name. She permanently gains two points of haste with every ultimate cut used. Nice. Can be stacked up to 20 points. Uh, she permanently gains three points of haste every ultimate up to 30. When in the Dragon's Fury... When in the state of Dragon's Fury, she re recovers 50 additional energy per second. That's pretty nice. If Polina kills a target while the state of drag while in the state of Dragon's Fury, the duration of the state is extended by an additional five seconds. That's pretty nice too. Alright, let's go. I like this character. I know she's gonna be mid, but I just really like the character, so I'm getting trying to trying to cope myself up. When Polina takes damage or health loss from enemies directly in front of her, she becomes immune to that damage and retaliates immediately with an attack dealing damage for 200% of her attack rating once every 11 seconds. Additionally, this skill stuns the enemy. How long for though? Polina is invincible and untargetable while this skill is active. Uh, damage up to the enemy increased 300%. Skill can be triggered once every 8 seconds. Heroes hit by the skill deal 80% less damage to her for 12 seconds. This effect cannot be stacked. I mean, that's not too bad. Is it AoE? Uh, attacking. I think it's single target. Might be narrow AoE, but I think it's single target. All right. S Stormy Assault. Passive. If her ultimate knocks the target into the air, it triggers the skill Stormy Assault. Passive. Uh, we got two passives. Dude, why are we putting eight skills in one skill? Come on, guys. If Polina knocks an enemy into the air with rapid counter and her energy is no less than 30%, it will trigger the ultimate that consumes all of her energy to deal no less than 40% damage of her ultimate. So this is how you stack that buff faster. Uh, before, uh, before triggering the skill Stormy Assault. Okay, okay. When... when when the skill Stormy Assault is triggered, it deals multiple hits of damage for 150% of Polina's attack rating before finally knocking down uh for, before finally knocking down the enemy, dealing damage for 350% of her attack rating and stunning them for four seconds. Polina is invincible and untargetable. Dude, there's a lot of invincible, untargetable, and a lot of Dude, I, I'm really keen to test this character. Multi-hit damage increased to 200%. Okay. The ultimate trigger uh threshold. Uh, the ultimate triggered by this skill gains a 50% increase in power. Cool. And then 60 engraving. When Stormy Assault deals damage, additional Dragon's Peak damage equal to 250% of attack rating will be dealt. Dragon's Peak damage, new style of damage. It's got its own like resistance as well. We'll look at that in a future video. Sing Jerome, let's go. Dude, I'm cooked. I'm cooked. How long? We're already 14 minutes into this video and we're only halfway through it. Let's keep going. All right. Polina converts 25% of damage dealt 
two floating targets into health. Okay, so she gets healing here as well. Polina converts 35% of damage dealt floating targets into health. Polina gains 50 additional energy if she is uh, unable to successfully knock enemies into the air. This does not include normal attacks. Okay. Polina gains 100 additional energy if she is unable to... Okay, we get 100 now. Uh, and then each time Polina knocks uh, an enemy in the air, she steals 45% defense rating for 9 seconds. Cannot be stacked. Okay, so she's like one of those units that's looking like she can do some solo stuff. We'll have to wait and see. Like one of those cheesy units. For every point of haste Polina gains, her insight permanently increases by two points up to a maximum 40. Each time Polina knocks an enemy into the air, she gains 20 points of physical pierce and her dragon speaks damage is increased by an additional 60% for the next seven seconds. Cannot be stacked. Cool beans. Let's take a look at the character. Right, let's take a look. Boom. Let's go. Okay, nice. There's an alt. Gets that energy. I feel like there's like five hits in that ultimate. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe? I mean, it's it's pretty simplistic, but like I I, I I just like these type of characters. I'm sorry. Let's let's try it by herself. See if she's got the survivability. Okay, so there's that first ult that she uses. In, okay, she, yeah, yeah. yeah, she doesn't have the survivability. All right, let's let's do this. Let's, yeah, I, I, dude, I, I clicked off the game. All right, let's see if this. I, 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 I kind of really want her to be able to like solo things. So we're gonna test this. We come on, we got the kill. Oh, dude, Kazad, you prick. Wait, I, I'm, I, I'm a believer. I'm a believer that she can solo. Is if we don't get frozen. Use it, use it, use it, use it. Okay, there we go. Use it again, 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 use it again. Use it again. Yeah, dude. But you can see her energy regeneration, yeah? You guys can see that. Right, if we if we just put her with a tank, she should have pretty decent energy regeneration. Let's check it. Oh, we get the two-piece bonus. So so do we get two for two percent for each one? I don't know. Alright, so here's she okay. Uh, my my my, co my copium fluids are definitely depleting at this rate. Um, let's put two tanks in. Let's see. Dude, her energy just stays at like full the whole time. Like I I do like this alt spamming style. Look at her. She's 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 back into alt range. There's an alt. She's now she's back into alt range. I can't. I kind of like the alts. I I, I kind of like it, guys. I don't know. I I don't think she's going to be the best, but I think she's the coolest. Let's leave it at that. All right, Cassie's time. Let's get into it. Please have short descriptions. Okay, they're all reasonable. Thank you. Whew. That's, that, that's a lifesaver. No scrolling on any of these skills. Let's get into it. As, uh, and Cassius is an intelligence-based tank. Interesting. As Cassius's scroll spins and rises behind him, it embeds into the ground, making an area where his allies are clustered and activating equilibrium. That's a lot of words. This area primarily covers himself for the and lasts for eight seconds. Allies within range are granted 20% damage reduction and 20 points of buffer, while Cassius himself is granted 50% damage reduction and 50 points of buffer. During the equilibrium, allies within the realm recover health uh, every second for 2% of his max health. Cassius himself rece receives 5%. For every four seconds enemies remain within the equilibrium, they are affected with one stack of indecision. It's indecision. I guess we'll find out later on. Honestly, that 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 ability kind of sounds kind of meh for how fast paced the game is at the moment. So I, I don't know. That's just that's my first impression. We'll wait and see. When Cassius takes fatal damage, he avoids taking the damage and remains immune to subsequent damage for two seconds. Enemies within range of Cassius immediately stop fighting for four seconds, during which Cassius recovers 10% of his max health per second. The skill can only be triggered once every 15 seconds. Oh, wait, so you get a cheat death every 15 seconds. That ain't too bad. For a given period, Cassius's health recovered per second is increased to 15% of his max health. 
Uh, okay, nice. Extends duration to six seconds that enemies won't attack. Uh, after the period ends, enemies within range are inflicted with one stack of indecision. I need to know what indecision is. Um, Cassie's lectures and taunts enemies in their half of the field for three seconds. Enemies who are taunted deal 30% less damage to him and are inflicted with one stack of indecision uh, for six seconds, lowering their accuracy by 15 points and insight by 15 points with each stack. Okay, that's what it does. If the same enemy reaches three stacks, they cannot um, add any more stacks and the duration of indecision will be refreshed. Cool. Duration of taunting is increased to... Si Honestly, the taunt for six seconds ain't too bad if he gets enough damage mitigation to survive. Each stack of indecision reduces the enemy's accuracy by 30 points and insight by 30 points. Okay, nice. When an enemies, when enemies have three stacks of indecision, they are unable to cast their skills. Wait, and they stay? So are we serious that this guy's just going to stack those three stacks and then enemies can only use basic attacks? Is that legit it? Because it doesn't... Ref Dude, it's permanent, isn't it? Okay, that sounds like it could be interesting. Like, just lock out enemies from doing anything after they get three stacks. With each hit of damage, uh, Cassius permanently increases his healing received by one point up to 30 points max and boosts his max health by 1% up to 30% max. Okay. With each hit of damage, permanently increases by 2, 2, up to 60. When taking damage, if Cassius' max health exceeds that of the enemies dealing damage, uh, excess health worth 1% of the enemy's health. Dude, dude, this, this one, this one, this one wording's got me. When taking damage, if Cassius's max health exceeds that of the enemy dealing damage, excess health worth 1% of the enemy's max health results in additional 1% damage reduction. Okay, so the more health he has in the, than the enemy, more max health he has than the enemy, he gets more damage reduction. Cool. I get it. Took me a bit, but give me a break. Uh, when Cassius takes damage, he triggers Dragon's Might, dealing Dragon Speak damage for 20% of his max health to the enemy who inflicted damage and stunning them for two seconds. This effect can only be triggered once within four seconds. Okay. That's not so great. If it's once within four seconds, blanket, that's not so great. If it was once every four seconds for each enemy, it would have been better. All right, this one. For every surviving allied hero on the battlefield, Cassius gains 3% damage reduction, goes up to 5, increases Cassius' normal attack range, uh, dealing... Increases Cassius' normal attack range, dealing damage for 2% of Cassius' max health. Okay, so we get a bigger range and we get 4% max health. And then at 40, increases the damage dealt to enemies inflicted with indecision by 40%. If it's Dragon's big damage, it increases by 80%. Okay, so they're also baking some damage into his kit. Furniture. When the equilibrium ends, allies within the within the area immediately gain 200 energy and 20 haste points for 30 seconds. I mean, the energy is nice. The haste is very small, small duration. Enemies within range of the equilibrium uh, area have their haste negated and their energy recovery reduced by 70 points okay so buffing allies reducing teammates he's got a full board taunt he stacks a debuff that makes enemies unable to cast skills i mean not bad he's one of those ones i've really got to play with and test to, to figure it out let's go we'll leave it on two times I want to see him. Hold on. I want to see this little thing that goes behind him. Actually, okay. It said it said goes behind him. I thought it was going to be a tiny field. It's actually a decent sized field. Okay. And you see that enemy's got three stacks. So you can see the stacks on them. I love it when they have stack indicators. So let's see how quick we get, get characters to three stacks. So let's do our standard uh, single character test first. Now, he... Did he proc his cheat death thing? I don't know. All right. Well, let's do this. I'll just throw a couple in there. I just want to see what stuff happens. Um. So we've got shields. So they're at two stacks. Okay, so now, now you can see they're locked out and they can't do... Oh, but it does have a time duration. Okay, it, it, it fades. So it's only for a little bit, and then it fades. Okay, interesting. 
Interesting. I'm not too sure on him. I'm not too sure on him. I, I just, I think he's a bit too clunky for me. I could, like, listen, whenever I have these kind of takes, I'm completely wrong. So don't take my word for it. Wait and test it. But he feels a bit too clunky. Her, I don't think she's going to be enough damage. I don't think she's going to work too well. And I'm saying that because I really want her to. And it's real copium that I like her. And this one, Nyla, I can see Nyla having usage. I, fe I feel like her control, the mitigation and everything, maybe it snowballs. None of them scream broken to me, but they all seem okay. So I I'm going to have to wait and see. But let me know what you guys think. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. And I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.